This video is brought to you by my ebook, Texting Women Like a Boss. The link is in the description. This guy asked a question. He says, how do you deal with really promiscuous women? The younger 18 to 20 year old girls are often really sweet and nice, but promiscuous and are rationally or rotationally dating. All right. Uh, so here's the unfortunately honest answer is that some women are going to be really good at hiding their promiscuous past. Even ones that like saying you've been dating for six months. And as far as you can tell, they've had a couple of relationships in the past and they hadn't ever brought up like hooking up with a bunch of dudes. And admittedly, maybe you never asked her, you know? And then you have a conversation one day where she's, you just start asking about her daily life. And she's like, oh, well, I dated this one guy, this and that. And I dated this other guy and did this, this and that. And, this other, and you start looking like, wait, that's three, four, five, six, seven. Like, oh, she's dating like 12 guys. Like, holy crap. Like she's, the numbers are pretty, are pretty getting up there. Like, but I didn't know this beforehand, you know? I literally dated women that I found out later on were like extremely promiscuous in their college years, but like they're older. I wouldn't guess that crap, you know? And so the reality is, like I said, women are going to be able to hide that they're promiscuous. So I will say this, for the women that you know are promiscuous, I'm talking like you're saying 18 to 20, so maybe you see them on campus or maybe you're an older guy that just happens to run across 18 to 20 year olds, but you, you, they already have the reputation of being loose and, you know, they just, they, their, their refs just know like, oh, she's Mrs. Suck them down or, oh, she's Mrs. Hump them dry, you know, whatever. Like they had that reputation out there. If you're not trying to purposefully date a woman like that, then do not date her. And it's going to be hard because you're going to think this, right? You're going to think, especially if you're a guy that hasn't had any in a while, you're going to think, but that's a guaranteed hookup. Like I know for sure it's been a drought and I just want to hook up now. And she is Miss Promiscuous. She will do it with anybody. And I want to be that anybody. This goes back to, though, as a guy, it's going to be better if you practice sexual discipline. So if you're not wanting a girl like that long term, then and she has a rep reputation, you know, for a fact that she's promiscuous, then, you know, don't deal with her. Now, ideally, you'll be able to do that. But realistically, I know it's going to be hard to do. And so you can't judge yourself if you happen to do that. But just know that if you do happen to do her, that she's probably not going to be relationship material. And you don't want to make the mistake of hooking up with a promiscuous woman, thinking that it could go long-term or worse, that you're going to be the guy that comes in and changes her mind and makes her see the light. Like, don't be the hero. Like, if she's promiscuous and you know you want to hook up with her, do that going in with no intentions of her actually being in a relationship. Now, if you're dating a woman already, like she's your girlfriend or she's even your fiance or whatever, and then you find out all of a sudden, oh, she was hella promiscuous, you have a decision to make. And the decision is looking at how she is now and determining if how she was in her past is going to ultimately uh, alter how she's going to act in the future. Like you can really think, okay, I found out that she's promiscuous. She hooked up with like hundred dudes. And now you're like engaged to her. Like, oh crap. Is she going to want to like cheat on me in the future because she had all these things in her past? Is she going to be disciplined enough to not want any more guys besides me? Like that's a fight that you have to have in your head. And this goes to, you have to now look at the evidence of how she been treating you. Has she been very loyal? Has, does she have a lot of guy friends around versus just like some woman friends? Is she trying to hang out around guys all the time? When you guys go out and there's a bunch of other guys there, is she flirting with the bartender or flirting with the waiter? Or is she just looking loyal to you? Like you have to then look at like the evidence she's shown you up to this point that indicates where she's going to go, all right? And then you also have to look at based on you now knowing about her promiscuous past, what does that say about what she's been through? Because as I've said before, a lot of women that are highly promiscuous had a lot of trauma. And she may not have mentioned any kind of trauma that she had been through up to, leading up to when you found out about her being promiscuous. So you got to find out, okay, so she was promiscuous, crap. Now I got to ask, did she have any kind of trauma? Was she touched in weird ways? Did she Was she like, you know, uh, harmfully physical with guys against her will? Like, you have to ask these other various follow-up questions and then again, make a determination. Now, I'm not going to say what your judgment should be because you only you know your situation. You might date this girl and realize, oh, she's promiscuous. And also I'm recognizing these various other signs that indicate she might not be loyal, in which case you got to get rid of her. Or you could be like, oh, I found out she was promiscuous, but she's given her life to the Lord or she's the, she you know moved away from where she was doing all that stuff so she could start a new life anew and she treats me really well and she doesn't she hasn't given me any indications that she wants to step out on me. It, it's a hard gamble, you know? Um, promiscuous women do not have the best reputation at being all that loyal. So you have to really look at 
how she's been up to this point. But it's also why you should realistically date a woman for like two or three years before you get engaged to her. So you can really kind of suss that stuff out, you know? So hopefully, guy, this helps you out. That's the best I can tell you, you know?